Yes. Is there anyone here? What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. From the top. From the top, okay. Down, down. Okay. Not even 50 years ago, Pongo was a rustic kampong area, full of rubber plantations and farm for poetry, pigs, and vegetables. If we go even further back, before the time of the Japanese occupation, the first Singapore zoo was actually located in this area as well. However, the animals in the zoo were slaughtered shot dead in cold blood by British soldiers in 1942 in the preparation of the war. At that time, stories about phantom tiger sightings were popular amongst the villagers, and they claimed that the spirit of the slain animals would roam the area at night and attack anyone with evil intentions. However, the threat of the vigilante tiger spirit did little to prevent the ruthless gang rivalries which existed between secret society members in the 50s and 60s. These gangs' rivalries often resulted in death and unsolved murders. And bodies were frequently found dumped in the swamp area at the end of Track 13. Today, that spot is the site of a housing estate that is bordered by Pongo Walk, Santos Crescent and Pongo Central. Speaking of Track 13, there was a total of 26 dirt tracks in Pongo. Many of them remain rural in nature even by the late 80s. Some of these tracks were disused and become dumping grounds for spiritual practitioners to release ghosts or conduct occult rituals. It was a common sight to find religious paraphernalias and effigies left under trees tied with a yellow cloth. There is even an urban legend that track 22 was where the gates of hell were situated and young spiritual practitioners would spend the night there to hone their skills against supernatural forces. At Track 26, there were rumours of a Pontianak presence in the area of a small kampong mosque known as Majik Wat Sumang. In one retelling by a Majik, which grew up in that area, she recalled that Thursday evening, it was common for those in the mosque to hear scratching and crying sounds at the roof of the mosque. Finally, Pongo Road, which was made up of Track 15, 16 and 17 was considered one of the Singapore's dirtiest roads during the 70s and 80s with many motorists and cab drivers avoiding the area at night. Perhaps one of the most popular urban legends that was circulated involving cab drivers picking up a lone female passenger at midnight and being asked to be dropped at the old Muslim cemeteries. The road high numbers of accidents were also attributed to the vengeful village inhabiting the area. Cut back to the present, we have to wonder what happens to the spirit that once roams these lands. Whatever it is, I'm sure it will give you something to think about the next time you walk along the waterway at night. This confession is from Anthony, a 76-year-old retiree. He views to visit his son in Pongo and takes a shortcut back through this bridge to his pastor's home. But in 2018, one incident took place that changed his life forever. Chinese believe that ghosts reside in large bodies of water. He may have heard advice from old folks not to swim during the seventh month or the hungry ghost month because many people drown during seventh month. But it is not necessary that they do not know how to swim. Even good swimmers drown because there are unnatural circumstances. Sure, telling new people all these stories, you think uncle is old and senile? But would you risk it? The Pongo waterway may be man-made and cuts through scenic routes through the estate. But the history of the land still remembered by a few of us. This place used to be very ulu. I believe in a bit of feng shui. Unlike before, there are many people living here now and the yang qi or the yang energy is now very strong. Even if there were spirits here before, they were all chased away. Chased where? Chased to the dark waters under the bridge where people seldom go and they are very angry. Who can blame them? They have no place to rest now. 
It takes about 45 minutes to walk from my son's house to my home in Pasir Ris. But it takes the same amount of time if I take the bus, which I have to train three times, very troublesome. So what I do is I walk across this bridge, take a shortcut and walk to my home. But this time is different. One thing followed me back home. That night, I got home. I was suddenly very angry. I wanted to kill my wife and I want to kill myself. I went to shower, but I didn't understand why. That night uh, and a few nights after, my sleep kept getting disturbed. I was about to fall asleep and I would dream of somebody, a shadow, standing right at the corner looking at me, staring into my eyes. I could sense that it was a woman. It was drenched from top to bottom. Look into my eyes, she wanted to talk to me and tell me something, but I couldn't hear what she was saying. I lost my appetite and I felt lethargic. My fever got on and off sometimes. And I, initially, I didn't want to tell my family about it. But after some time, my fever kept getting on and off, and I always get sick at 7 p.m. My wife got worried and I told my son about it. Fortunately, my son was a fan of a supernatural confession, got a contact for me who can help me with this problem. Initially, I was skeptical, but the spiritual master came. Without me saying anything, he told me what I was experiencing. Thankfully, the problem was a small one. I accidentally brought a spirit home with me. When I was walking along Hong Haru's bridge, she attached to me and followed me back home. The master said the spirit didn't want to harm me, but she has nowhere to go. She needed some place to stay. By virtue, all spirits have negative energy. So when she attached to me, I get sick and feeling ill every time. And my luck get poorer and poorer, my health get poorer and poorer. Fortunately, I got this intervened early. The spirit master advised me to come back to Lorong Halus to burn some incense and offerings and fruits for the spirit. They said that this would help her cross over to the other side. But I'm not sure which side he was referring to. Is it the Pongo side or to help her reincarnate? That night, I slept peacefully and my fever subsided. What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions.